it is time, hopefully, and I, it, it's Skype, so you never know. It's uh, roll the dice. Pat Pagano, are you behind curtain one? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we just finished installing a brand new production computer uh, that matches our on-air computer now. Okay. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's like a, an i7 processor. It's got the solid state hard drive. It's got uh, 32 gig of RAM. Uh, it can do everything except make a cup of coffee. Okay. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you list. Yesterday at this time, you having a problem with Skype. Yeah. Well, th that's a different computer, but this. And this computer is meant to be fast. It, I, I've been told it's meant to save me with all the work that we do on the computer. 30 minutes a day on the computer. Cool. Well, we'll see, if it, we'll see if that's the case. So now, Pat. Pat, 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 Pat. Yes. This is the weekend. There, I mean, there's so much stuff going on this weekend. Uh, it's ridiculous. And is the weather still going to hold like you said it was? Yes. All right. You're full of yeah. yeses today. So now what do you got to say? I don't know. You're all full of yeses today. That's good. <laughs> I was a little I was a little shocked uh, yesterday when I was coming uh, home from yoga, uh, and that was at 5 p.m. I was driving in pouring rain. Yeah, we had clouds and stuff like that. Yeah, we had it was it was it was weird. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, and uh, you know, of course, I, I I only said a spotty shower, but that was more than a spotty shower. <laughs> That's right. However. Um, <laughs> Well, you can't With say, that being said, yeah, you can't say spotty downpour. No, you can't. <laughs> that's it's you know that's uh, contradictory. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, it'll be partly cloudy today, sixty-five to seventy. Clear tonight, down to forty. <gasps> Sunny, forty. Yes. A little nippy at your house tonight. Uh, Sunny to partly cloudy Saturday, seventy. So there's a thumbs up there for your outdoor stuff. Sunday, some sun more humid, maybe a late day shower, and we're in the low 80s. And Monday, hazy and humid, late showers, 70 to 75. That's not too bad, right? Now, go over today because uh, uh, Maddie and Liz, our NPL gals, are going to be in uh, Lakeville today. It's the opening of the uh, Salisbury Fall Festival. So they're going to be actually in Salisbury, and they're going to be uh, set up in front of uh, the new restaurant below the salt. We got permission from the owner to set up there with our gift certificate program. So you'll be able to see the NPR gals, uh, Maddie and Liz, today. Uh, I think it's going to be either in between 11 and 1 or 12 and 2, uh, one of those times uh, today in front of Below the Salt in uh, Salisbury. Well, again, uh, partly cloudy, partly sunny, whatever you like. Uh, no rain, 65 to 70 degrees. So a nice day. Yes, yeah, that sounds like, sounds like it's going to be a nice one. Now, so what is, yes. what is, when are we going to get into the extended fall weather? Like I've got two big plants on my back porch that I probably should take in, especially if it's going to get down to 40 tonight. I don't want to take the chance of them getting hit by, a, by like a 30 degree temperature. Well, that won't happen yet. That won't happen yet. Because if anything, it's going to get warmer next week. Now, for the last several days, I have been telling you about something tropical in the Gulf. Mm -hmm. Teaming up with a front that could send rain this way by late, uh, by this time next week or the weekend. Yep. Uh, I still see that happening. Even though some models do not, I still see it happening. The National Hurricane Center is giving a 60% chance of something tropical forming over the, um, uh, uh, you know, um, Yucatan area and moving toward the Gulf. So... If they're seeing it, there's no reason why I shouldn't see it. Yeah. And, and again, we'll have to see how fast it plays out and what happens with that. Following that system, whenever that moves out, whether it's Saturday next week or Sunday next week, it, it, there'll be a shot of real, real chilly fall weather coming in. So it seems like it wants to all line up again. You know, in no way, shape or form does this remind me of Sandy because Sandy was completely different. Yeah. But if you recall with Sandy, um, Sandy moved into the coast and four or five days later was followed by cold air and we had snow with Sandy. Yeah. Uh, it was almost like a week later. Uh, so th sometimes these tropical systems do tend to form just ahead of a cold outbreak and then that issues in the cold outbreak. 
And I think that's what will happen. So we'll see. Uh, yours truly will uh, have to get up to the lake house next weekend to close it up. And uh, most of the work is outdoors. So um, I'm hoping it doesn't get that cold that quick. And then I'll keep you posted on that. All right. I have to tell you that um, I had to go back to the doctors yesterday. The blood pressure pill that he gave me um, uh, caused an allergic reaction. But I, I was scheduled to go back anyhow, but it just coincided with it. So he took me off that blood pressure pill. He's put me on another one. And I have to pick that up today. What was the reaction you got? Um, I don't know what they call it, but you know the little thing that hangs down in the back of your throat? Yeah. Not your tonsils, the other thing. That little thing in the middle, yeah. Yeah, uh, that swelled up. Right. And... Uh, that's, this, not good. That's not good for a meteorologist to talk with that swelled up. That is correct. <laughs> and that is, uh, they say, when I did when I searched the internet, they said that that is one of the signs of this pill. So he took me off right away, and he put me on another one, so I'll, I'll try that today. And then he said to me, and this is what I'm going to ask you, Mr. Miles, because you are uh, definitely, definitely, and uh, medwise, you know all of this stuff. <laughs> so he says to me, Pat, um, your uh, cholesterol is a little borderline. I said, yeah. He says, so uh, I'm thinking that we should put you on cholesterol meds. I said, yeah. He says, but I do want you to know that most cholesterol meds will, number one, elevate your liver, and that'll have to be checked. I said, yeah. And he said, and it could also cause uh, leg cramps. I said, well, you know, that's the last thing I need. Yeah. I said, well, what was my reading? So he looks at the computer and he looks back at me. He said, 155. I said, 155? 200 is borderline. He says, yeah, but, you know, when you start getting a little bit older, um, we like to see it lower than that. I said, lower than 155? Yeah, stay off the Stay off. Don't go on it. Uh, so I turned around to him. I said, I don't want to take any pills. Yeah, smart move. And he looked, he goes, excuse me. I said, no. He goes, okay. He goes, that is your call. I said, look, I'll give you a, I'll, I'll compromise with you. And I remember, I don't know this doctor. Second time I've, I've seen him. And he looked at me, he goes, yeah. I said, uh, give it three months. You could retest me in three months. I'll make a concerted effort right now uh, to make sure that I don't eat uh, stuff that's going to, uh, you know, uh, bring up my cholesterol. He goes, okay, fine. We'll go from there. So that's where we went. All right. Hey, will we speak to you Monday? No, or we'll speak to you Tuesday. You'll speak to me Tuesday. I'll let you know how all the filming went. All right, Pat. Have a great weekend. You too. Take care.